Jill Valentine, an original member of the Special Tactics and Rescue Service, or otherwise known as STARS, dedicates her life to the eradication of bioterrorism. Her quest to do so has led to many confrontations with the undead, including zombies, zombified dogs, and even tyrants. She has the charging stars and the tyrant escape. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked behind Jen in D tier. But even with her placement in a tier list, what is it that makes Jill a force to be reckoned with? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play One. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Jill Move List from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Jill moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like and maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Charging Stars. This move is Jill Rush Attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. The Light Punch version travels at a shorter distance, while the Fierce Punch variation is practically full screen. This attack can be charged, but only with Ferris Punch. Both versions of the move score for two hits, but a charge variation will hit four times. Actually, you can charge this move for quite some time and the hits will triple. The Charging Stars has excellent startup time, and the move serves well as a combo finisher. Also, it can be done in midair. Up next is the attack with the grenade launcher. This move is Jill's anti air of sorts. To do the attack, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. The light punch version has more of a widespread angle, while the fierce punch variation has more of a vertical range. Also, hold any punch to delay it from exploding. This attack doesn't have fast startup time and is not combo friendly. The grenade launcher is not the conventional anti air. But yeah, you can intercept aerial opponents. Next on the list is the attack called Return Fire. This is a move where Jill does a parry stance in order to prepare for a counter attack. To do the move, do a half circle back plus any punch button. Also, this move is mashable. Keep pressing the punch button to increase the amount of gunfire. I'm quite certain this move work against opponent normals, but I'm not too certain about their special attacks to be honest. The zombie escape is Jill's trap move and it has two variations. To do this move, do a quarter circle back plus any kick button.
Jill will briefly look over her shoulder and a zombie will come out and walk towards the opponent. When doing this move with light kick, a regular zombie will appear. Also, you can trip the zombie up by hitting him. If the fallen zombie is close enough to the opponent, it can grab and bite them. Remember that the main thing with zombies is that they're unblockable. Now when you do the move with Fierce Kick, Jill will summon a fire version of the zombie. No, this version of the zombie cannot be hit by Jill, but the flaming zombie does good damage on impact. So this move is vastly similar to the zombie escape, except that you summon dogs and crows. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. Doing this move with light kick summon Cerebrus, who attacks just like the zombies, but move much faster. Then using the fierce kick button will summon a crow, which will attack from above. The crow has full screen range, but I learned that it will attack as soon as it appears on screen if you're in a corner and the opponent is at close range. Jill has two normal throws. Press the first punch to do a grab and stab. Press forward and first punch in mid-air for an aerial grabbing style. Press down the first kick to do the kick slide. The kick slide is an effective sweeping attack and is another way to close the distance between you and the opponent. Jill has one launcher in the game. Press down the fierce punch for the standard launcher. You can do Jill taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick and press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. Yeah. Yeah. So the first hyper I like to cover is called a Hyper Charging Stars. This is the move where Jill does a super version of her rush attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move can be done on both ground and the air, and its combo potential is insane. Also, just like with the normal special, it's possible to OTG in this attack. You can also link a charging stars into a hyper charging star. So, the second hyper combo on the list is called a rocket launcher. This is where Jill will pull out a giant rocket launcher to blast the opponent. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This hyper does decent damage and can be comboed into. 
but at close range, it would juggle and some shots would miss. Catch the opponent at a distance with this hyper in order to obtain the full 16 hits. So the final hyper I like to discuss is called a tyrant escape. This is where Jill makes her escape from the tyrant while the opponent received the full beat down from him. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. Also, to fire a rocket launcher at the end for seven more points of damage, do a quarter circle forward plus any kick button. And you have to do that towards the end of the hyper. So, this hyper is definitely Jill's most damaging super, but the thing is, it's very hard to connect with. It's mostly due to the startup delay and range of the hyper. With that being said, this is definitely the coolest looking hyper Jill has in my opinion. One last thing. You can actually do an OTG after this hyper for insane damage. Here's what to expect when you use Jill as an assist character. Jill's alpha assist will assist her partner with a life up herb. Yes. Come on. Yes. Her beta assist will use a charging stars. Yes. Come on. Yes. And her gamma assist will perform a grenade launcher. Overall, Jill has excellent combos and her OTG game is insane. She does excellent damage in the air and because of her smaller frame, just like Kami, it makes it harder to hit her. Her speed is a weapon and when mixing that up with the zombie traps, she can be quite a problem. Use the zombies as a mean of distraction since the opponent will most likely be anticipating it. If you suspect a tech roll from the opponent, summon a zombie for them to get grabbed by. Also, keep the pressure on with animal summons as well. With that being said, here are some tips to help you play better with Jill. Remember that normal zombies can be disposed of easily, but you can also trip them with crows and cerebrus. Speaking of crows, they can be used as anti-air just from the skies. Also, Cerebrus is Jill actual projectile if you think about it. The charging stars is dangerous, especially from an OTG. The flaming zombie is harder to get rid of. Use them to help keep the opponents at bay. Whenever using Jill as an assist, make sure to use the alpha one, which is the life up herb. Well, that's it for this week installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play One. Hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.